is problem number 51 from section 3.6. 3.6. Okay, so we're given that S is a uh, is equal to the cosine of theta. Then they ask us, evaluate and find out what ds dt is. Now here's a problem. Let's focus on, on S and cosine theta for a second. Okay. S is not a function of t. But they're asking us to find ds dt as if it was a function of t. So something's kind of screwy. Something's unusual about this problem. Well, here's how we're going to attack this problem. Let's do what we can do. Let's find out what ds d theta is. Can we do that? ds d theta ends up being negative sine of theta. Now, they talk about doing all this stuff while theta is 3 pi over 2. Well, let's find out what is ds d theta when theta is 3 pi over 2. That would be equal to negative sine of 3 pi over 2. And then i got to do my little drawing. I think it's negative 1. Sine of, sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. Negative of negative 1 is positive 1. Okay, so ds d theta is positive 1. But again, they're not asking us what ds d theta is. They're asking us what is d, ds dt. Ah, but we have this thing, again, called the chain rule, that ds dt can be thought of as being equivalent of ds d theta multiplied by, now what do I want? I want to get rid of the d theta, and I want to introduce a d, dt. It would be equal to ds d theta times d theta d dt. And ds d theta, we've already found out, is 1. And d theta dt, we just find out here, happens to be 5. So our answer is 5. There we go. So it's sort of a screwy question. But that is indeed the chain rule in, 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 uh, in practice. Any questions about that? Nope.